The untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I wanted to take this time to talk about a fight that was an absolute barn burner last night, Thursday night, Ring City, USA. We had Brandon Adams, you know, former world title challenger. Most of us might remember him from his fight with Jamal Charlo, where he won 112 rounds and gave Charles some fits. Charlo didn't look good in that fight at all. He won, but he didn't look good. He didn't look impressive. He didn't win any. He didn't win, win any new fans that fight with, with with how he looked against Brandon Adams. You had him taking on what's his name, uh, Sergey Bochuk. Sergey Bochuk, you know, a very hyped up Ukrainian prospect. The guy had built up a very nice record of 18 to 0 with 18 knockouts. So this guy was on his like Edgar Belanga shit, knocking everybody out. So you had it was a good crossroads fight. You had. The good, experienced, you know, veteran fighter who's trying to keep his career afloat and, and push it forward against the young upstart prospect who's knocking everybody out. It was a great crossroads fight, great matchmaking by Ring City, uh, Ring City USA. Puncher versus more of a, a guy that could, a guy that, a guy that's a chameleon. I think Brandon Adams is a chameleon. He's not just a mover or, or or a boxer. He can he can punch a little bit. He can come forward. He's shown that in his career. So it was a good fight. You know, early on in the first two round two two rounds, Brandon Adams got to a blazing start, going to the body, throwing just really hard punches, uh, closing that gap, going to the power, and not allowing Bowie Chuck to get full extension on the punches. Then in the third round, we had uh, Brandon Adams get a point deducted for a low blow and uh, that kind of stymied, stymied his momentum a bit and, and from that point forward i would say the next two rounds are like oh, a swing round like so wait round yeah four or five okay so then round six round seven so like round, round five rounds five and six were swing rounds i i, I think adams won one of them Bochuk won one of them right so you, you'd have it the, the round of peace there and then um rounds rounds was it so uh, round four. So rounds six through seven. Round round six and seven. I I thought were clear bullet chuck rounds. He was turning the tide of that fight. He was beginning to get on the front foot. Adams looked sluggish. Adams really didn't have nothing to give. Adams was making some mistakes. He was, he was making some mistakes, dropping his hands. He looked he looked and had the body language of a beaten fighter. You know. And I thought bullet chuck was, was well on his way to to get his nineteenth victory and maybe even his nineteenth knockout. You know. And, and then the eighth round happened. Right. The eighth round happens where bullet chuck. I believe got a little bit greedy and a little bit careless. He comes in recklessly, all right. And as he's coming in recklessly, Adams is on the ropes, catches him with a left with, with a left hook, hurts him, right. And as soon as he realizes that that punch had an effect on him, he gets right in his chest, starts mauling him, starts going out of the body, you know. And and, and Boa Chuck's just trying to survive at this point. Adams gets Boa Chuck on the ropes. He throws a shot downstairs and then throws this left hook from hell. Bang, bang, gets him out of there. And uh, Bowichuk, Bowichuk, uh went crumbling down to the canvas. And, and Brandon Adams scores a really, 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 really sensational comeback knockout victory. You know, to me, as far as the uh, as far as when a fighter is down in fights and comes back to win, that's the comeback. That's that, that's the comeback of the year. You know, because Adams, referee, the referee, in my opinion, unjustly took a point away. I, I don't think he should should have got, gotten a point taken away. Um, in my opinion. You know, he's got a young, undefeated prospect who's knocking everybody out, come up with full of confidence, who doesn't know how to lose. He's barreling down on top of Adams. He's starting to like land. He's throwing these like real tight hooks, and he's coming here and here. And Adams had to really be on his p's and q's about not getting hit because he was getting hit with some shots. The ring was a bit slippery, uh, so a lot of fighter, both fighters were losing their balance a lot in the fight. There were a lot of things going on in that little ring in Puerto Rico, but. He showed so much character in this fight. And not even just character. Another thing that Brandon Adams showed was swag. This man has crazy swag. For those of you who don't know, Brandon Adams had one of the greatest ring entrances of all time. Again, this guy had a Mortal Kombat. I'm talking Mortal Kombat suit, uh, uh, um, costume. Looking like, what's his name? Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Had the mask and everything with the belt and the, and the little Kung Fu... Out, yellow kung fu shit going on you know and then he comes out with the mortal Kombat theme song Psh! i knew he was when brandon adams came out with the mortal Kombat theme song i knew he wasn't gonna lose there's no way you can come out to mortal Kombat and lose a boxing match so he, he he made a statement in his ring entrance and he made a statement in the ring you know shout out to him and a big shout out has to go out to my main man chris alexander from 
Styles make fights. So uh, go sh shout out to Styles make fights. They make the best outfits in boxing. They've made Brandon Adams' his last two fight costumes with um this one with this one with Mortal Kombat and, and, and Scorpion. Last time he was Bowser from Mario. Who knows what the hell, hell who knows what the hell he'll be next, but they're doing a great job. They're, they are truly doing a great job with their craft and making boxing outfits. So shout out to my man Chris Alexander. He's been at it for a minute. Um if you're a boxer out there and you're watching this video, go over to Styles Make Fights for your uh boxing outfit needs you know but anyway great fight i would highly encourage everybody to go watch this fight brandon adams to me that's the biggest win of his career you know um he's coming off he, he's putting together some good wins he beats shane mosley jr he beats sonny duversome now he beats boa chuck the undefeated prospect uh in sensational fashion i think adams is is, is gonna be a contender a solid contender at, at 154 and he'll be someone to be reckoned with. He's someone that these get these guys. If, if you're if you're a guy who's a world title holder, I don't know where he's at in the rankings, but if you hold a title or if you're a contender trying to move up to the next next level, you're gonna have to come see Brandon Adams because he's a damn good fighter. And I and I think that win for Jamal Charlo is getting is looking better and better, and it's aging more and more with time. So put some respect on Jamal Charlo's name while you're at it as well. But that's my little review on the fight. You guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure you take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys.